Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. We are back with another video, as you can see on the screen, My Time at Evershine, just because there's been new updates. So let's get, take a look at it. So I realized when looking at this, I realized their stretch goals are kind of like uploaded backwards because I guess each picture was like what they had originally. So I guess the most they expected to fundraise was like a million because they had up to a million here. And then there's like a hidden goal. So we've achieved all of these so far. So the backer t-shirt, which is an in-game shirt, flirting feature, bathtub feature, player voter interaction, vote on a Porsche or Sandrock character visit, new swimming feature for players, which would be good because you cannot go in the water in Porsche, um, hot spring play date, which I saw somewhere where they said they're actually going to make them be in like bathing suits and stuff because it was awkward. At least with my time at Porsche, they're just like in their normal clothes in a hot tub. New special pet, pajama set, 10 new photo poses, and then a hidden goal. And if we scroll up a bit more, we start over here. So 10 new photo, photo poses. The hidden goal was that Logan would be visiting my time at Evershine and someone's full stories will unfold. This is making me second guess if I want to marry Logan though. Because I'm like, will that throw off my like story progression? But I don't even know who still I want to marry in my time at Sandra. Because there's like no one that's like grabbing my attention per se. But we'll see. So we had a visitor from the past. The builder from Sandra will visit Settlement 2 with Logan for a story quest. The builder from Sandra. So what? Wait. So this... Wait. <laughs> Does this mean it's going to be like the, well, I guess it won't be your character. I think it would probably be like the two, what's the word? The two default characters. So you can say that to you. Ooh, that way you can technically marry him. Because I'd be like, oh yeah, that's your hubby, right? <laughs> the adjustable height, which will be cool. Um, One more romanceable characters. And we recently got the body, player body customization, which means like more like Sims where you can like make them wider, make them taller kind of thing and to be quite honest oh actually let me finish what i'm saying first i'm so good at like going all over the place but because they hit the two million they bought in some other crazy stuff and actually let me while we're on that let me just look it up what it is in usd because as usual i'm in canada so it's showing well over two mil but i could look at it from my phone so as actually let me reload it again because i was looking at this on the way home okay so as of right now i think they had hit the goal like on the 13th and today's the 15th so yeah i was kind of busy on the weekend because it's thanksgiving here so that was crazy so as of now they have got two million sixty three thousand one hundred usd and canadian is 22 what two million eight hundred forty eight thousand and twenty nine dollars which is crazy like if we think about the last video where i just showed like how much they've grown over. So I think when I last looked at it, I think it said it's like a thousand and thirty percent uh funded. So these are the new stretch goals. And I think some of them I'm like, I think they're doing it to test us. <laughs> like they they figured there's no way in heck it would happen. So we're just throwing it out there kind of thing. So we'll see. So at 2.25, which is actually they're kind of wait, 2.25. No, they're not yet there yet. About four mil. <laughs> um, they could get expanded wardrobe and outfit preset features. Unlock 20 new outfits for male and female characters, perfect for everyday activities and exploration. Our appearance system allows you to choose outfits for their look while keeping the stats of your preferred gear. You can also save multiple outfits outfits for quick access equip them from the menu and preview them in stores before purchasing cool it's like a mix between like animal crossing and what was the last game oh i had it in my head hogwarts legacy there we go where you could like use the same clothes but like keep this like change the clothes but keep the stats with me i don't think it'll be a huge deal because i barely changed my change the clothes in my time at Portia and my time at Sandrock. I kind of focus on everything else. Uh, rival romance. At least two non-core romanceable NPC couples will have their own unique storylines and some may even form families. Familiar to Sony and Albert in Portia, you will have crust to help develop their relationships or you could choose to pursue either of them yourself. And of course, there will be an option to pair non-core romanceable NPCs or not depending on your preference. That would be cool because the, the Sonya and Portia, Sonya and Albert one kind of did throw me off because like I rarely ever saw a game like do that. Like because when it happened, I was confused. I was like, wait, but weren't they romanceable? But then I realized and I think there was another one. I think Arlo and the girl from the church. 
I think they were a thing too, but I was after Arlo, so I made sure it didn't work. I had to like, I Googled to see how to avoid that because I was like, no, Arlo's mine. <laughs> so those were the two I was aware of where they their relationship had kind of started kind of thing. Uh, let's see, 2.75, additional core romanceable character. We can vote for an initial core romanceable NPC from the previously provided candidates. If the character you choose for the 1.7 stretch goal was a bachelor, this time we'll select a bachelorette or vice versa to ensure a balance between the genders. Three million zoo building, capture animals from the wild and raise them in a zoo, which can be visited by tourists and general property. Originally, I w didn't know how I felt about this because the minute I saw a zoo building, I was thinking of like Sandrock with the, the animal DLC. I'll be honest, I'm not 100% like crazy about like the animal park because I don't, I barely do play with that side, nor was it interest to me. But this could be interesting because like, if it says generate profit, A, and second of all, it's there's kind of like a purpose to it. The monster, was it Monster Whisper or something? I just didn't feel like it, it, it well, we'll see what happens when I get through Sand Rock anyway, because I'm not done, but this one might be interesting spin on how to have animals and how to collect them and stuff. This is where it starts getting like, okay, so now after this three mil is where I think things get, <laughs> get crazy. The bonus unlock says, I don't know why it says five times, but after the full release, the first free update will drop five brand new side quests for you to dive into, which is cool. Everyone will like more side quests. This is where I figured, okay, they, they're trying to like test us. And I honestly want to see if I could find comments about this, but they said, so imagine they went from three mil to 10 mil. And for that one, they say Porsche remake, remake my time at Porsche with Evershine art style and quality of life design, which would be super cool. But 10 million, like I saw 10 million, like between the three and 10, I'm like, okay, y'all crazy. And then this, I felt like was like a little joke at us. Cause it's like, I think this is pinky and he's saying, haha ha. so like so like pathia like wait is it pathia you what what is this are we like are you testing people like you're lucky i don't make millions i would <laughs> wait what's the highest you could like highest you could do whoopsies well the two mil is gone i mean two thousand's gone what is that governor's pack all oh, those are saying what's gone so ten thousand is the highest one you are lucky i don't got ten thousand or that many friends to make it ten thousand Cause that would be kind of cool. Like if you see you portion a whole new way, but like, is there really a point? But at the same time, it'll still be cool to see my time at Porsche with the art style. Cause it does kind of look old and cartoony, but this, this kind of made me go. I'm like, okay, what are you getting at Pathia <laughs> or Pathia? I'm just like, hmm. So yeah, that's why I wanted to make this video. Cause I thought this was like hilarious. And the fact that they made it to two mil is like, it's a pop, oh, an applause from me, um, especially so quick because I think when I looked at it from the app, it said it was only eight days in. So that's insanity. Eight days. Wait, did they put any? Um, I think they took out the paragraph where they were saying when they hit all the dates. Yeah, they did. Dude, you should have kept that in. <laughs> I had asked in the previous video if there was a lot of spoilers in the updates because I hadn't finished playing uh, Sandrock. And someone that was super lovely commented it, and I thank you, saying that there are some spoilers. So maybe like pay attention more to like the title and the description in the beginning. So I'm going to try to avoid those. If I read them, I probably won't understand what's going on anyway. <laughs> but usually in their titles they i can show like the titles i guess like i could say from like the titles you could tell more of if it's like a spoiler there's one that fully says like full-on spoilers <laughs> but i don't know where it is it this is different than my phone but and plus i think that i saw this like a few days ago so there's a lot of stuff but the most interesting thing is like they have like an ask me everything anything kind of feed so that one's good to read up on to see like more information about the game and just updates of like like every time they hit their milestones and like when you could vote for certain things i think sorry i'm like fishing the zipper um so i'm not sure if i'm gonna go too much into these ones but yeah it's it's definitely as this is my first kickstarter like that i'm actually like involved in it's pretty cool seeing like update stuff, even though it's not coming out till like 2026. First of all, this gave me time to play Sandrock. And second of all, just seeing how it works. Cause like I had like, let's put it this way. I was interested in games and then I kind of fell off. But if I saw people like making games, like when I was in college, I was in always in like a media related type course or somewhere near the media course. So sometimes you see 
like on TVs or something, people's projects and stuff, it always intrigued me because it's an art form on top of being a game. <laughs> so it was always cool seeing that. And then now that I kind of got back into gaming because I'm an adult and I spend my money on things, I have started getting into gaming again and just seeing what goes into actually making game, not even just the design side. It's pretty cool. So this one's going to be a really short one, to be honest. I just wanted to go over the campaign because of the new stretch goals. If you guys want to listen to the theme song, what's this? Is? Here's an early version of the theme song by Claude to show our appreciation. We'll fine tune it further. Yeah, so I'm probably going to end it here just because I want the main goal of that video was to talk about that. Oh, actually, very something on off topic I wanted to discuss. I might make a video of this later, depending on how much things I mess up while playing my time at Sandrock. But has anyone ever played like a first version of the game and you got used to the mechanics and everything was Gucci and then all of a sudden you play the second one and you're like, oh shit, this is nowhere close to the same. <laughs> that kind of happened when I went to Sandrock. I don't know if anyone... Um, remembers but my time at Porsche when you go through the boss battles right you're gonna die. like unless you're gonna unless you're actually good at like leveling up you're gonna die so a lot of times in my time at Porsche I if I die and I just go back in the enemy's damage is still low or like if one's gone it stays right um not with Sandrock which I learned recently and <laughs> I looked at the, like, before I went in, which is a, actually a cool thing they added to Sandrock, is that when you go into a, into an area, it says, this, are you sure you want to go in here? This is for levels, like, I guess, let's say 10 to 12. So I was like, okay, I'm level 12. I'll go in. I go into the boss battle. Why is one of the characters, like, level 13 or 14? And... They have some crazy ass moves. And the thing is, in between that time, like, I couldn't figure out, like, how, like, I realized after the first time I died, because I was like, oh, it's okay, like, I'll die and I'll come back. No, I died and came back, and they were all at 100% health. So, <laughs> so I was like, nope. Looked at my saves, because apparently it saved before I went in, which I didn't realize I did. But there's, like, an auto save and then a save. So, I think it saved before I went in. And it also saved right before I went into the boss battle. So, your girl went back to the save file before I even went into that dungeon. And I'm like, yeah, we'll come back a little bit later. So, I think right now I'm at level 15. I think I'm going to, like, give myself a little bit more level. And also, I need to update my, upgrade my weapons. Because I still have that crusty one from, like, the get-go. So, I googled how to get, like, better weapons. And it says you need a refiner. So I'm in the middle of that. So that's my update on my Sandrock game. So if you guys like this video, definitely let me know. Um, it's kind of interesting giving my thoughts on these stuff. I never usually do it before. So that's kind of fun. And then also if you guys just want updates about like my Sandrock experience. Because I usually just play it like when I'm getting ready for bed kind of thing. So I don't usually play it at my desk. But... If you guys want to see like what it looks like so far, I'm really not that far. I'll be quite honest. <laughs> I thought I was farther, but then I forgot I started over again because you ever like play a game and then you forgot about it for a very long time. And then when you go back, you have no idea what's going on. That's what happened. So <laughs> with that, as I said, comments down below. Um, If you guys are interested in this video, let me know what you guys thoughts are on my time at Evershine, like have you played the other games? So anyways, I'm gonna stop talking. I don't know why I talk so much, but I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Bye.